So it's really a pleasure. Um, in the past three years, I've received several Edmonds Arts Festival Foundation grants, bringing art into the classroom at Madrona K through eight, as well as Seaview Elementary. Through these grants, I've developed STEAM curricula, uh, combining science, technology, engineering, art, and math into a lesson or a unit. I've taught printmaking to sixth graders and to the art docents and teachers so that they can continue teaching independently afterwards. Coming into the classroom, a working artist gives the students a fresh perspective on art and life. The artist, as one student said, shares what they like to do and then the students get to do it themselves. In the case of printmaking, the students came up with a line, uh, a line-based design on paper. They transferred it to the carving block with Sharpie. And then they used very sharp carving tools to remove parts of the block, leaving behind areas that would accept the ink. In the second part of the class, they applied ink to the block using a brayer, then made several prints. They changed the color of the ink, they changed the color of the paper, and in the end they had several prints for trading, for displaying and giving as gifts. They had to think in a different way as when the block prints, you have what's, le what's left is what's uh, not carved away. The prints always a surprise, and I love to see the wonder and amazement in their faces when they make their first print. When I see that students are engaged in the class, are working on their designs, very carefully carving their blocks, or pulling off print after print with increasing pride in their industry, I know that I have inspired them to try. And when I hear from the teachers that the students are still talking about the class afterwards, then I know it had an impact. And when I go to the Edmonds Arts Festival and see examples of these students' artworks hanging on the walls of the Francis Anderson Center, I know that these students have made printmaking their own. Having the support of this teacher in the classroom is vital in applying for the grant and preparing the students for my visit. Their presence in the classroom is a big help as sometimes kids can get a little rowdy while making art. I was particularly worried about the carving tools we were using while printmaking. It was a huge leap of faith to trust these kids with such sharp and quite frankly dangerous instruments. But with the help of the teacher and a stern talking to by me about how careful they needed to be and the welcome assistance of Darlene McClellan, who happened to be visiting that day and you know, don't ever visit me when I'm teaching because I will put you to work, <laughs> right Darlene? Yeah. Um, everything went off beautifully. The students had a wonderful experience and no one lost a finger. <laughs> I strive as a teacher to help the students make the process, the materials, the ideas their own, to go from extrinsic learning to intrinsic learning, to inspire them to make art on their own time, in their own home, in their own way. Teachers in elementary schools don't always have time to incorporate art into the classroom. The focus tends to be on improving test scores and language and math, but studies have shown that adding 45 minutes of art a week to the curriculum improves test scores. Why? It's a different way of thinking, <coughs> seeing, and processing in the brain. It provides an added dimension to understanding, especially when you can make a nebula painting as you study the stars, or draw a map of Lewis and Clark's journey, studying it with wildflower illustrations from each state on their path, or using natural materials from the Elwha to make a landscape painting out of sand, dirt, and pine needles. These are all projects that I have developed in Madrona for the fourth to sixth grade classroom. The response that the teacher there has gotten from the students is powerful. She reported to me that it increases their depth of understanding and helps them remember uh, points from each unit. Not to mention the excitement of having an artist visit who provides a new experience and inspiration and encouragement. And on a more personal note, I would like to thank the Edmonds Arts Festival Foundation for the past three years of grant support. Thanks to this whole process, I've recently started my master's in teaching at Western Washington University. My experiences in the classroom and in curriculum development inspired me to go back to school to become a visual arts teacher. So I'd like to quote with a, close with a quote from Tom Horn, the state superintendent of public instruction in Arizona, who said, when you think about the purposes of education, there are three. We're preparing our kids for jobs. We're preparing them to be citizens. And we're teaching them to be human beings who can enjoy the deeper forms of beauty. The third is as important as the other two. Thank you.